is Miss Stratford. Now, this summer, we are going to be familiarizing ourselves with what I believe is just the finest little book ever come into print. It is entitled, Why My Life is Like a Bowl of Cherries. Now, didn't that title just give you a thrill? Excuse me, and darling, when the teacher is speaking, the polite thing for girls and boys to do is to shut their little mouths and listen, you understand? Yes, ma'am. Now, once we are finished with this book, we are going to be devoting our time to writing our memoirs. This is where you will indicate to me why your life is like a bowl of cherries. Let's get this class into some sort of order. A uh, son, you're a tall boy. Why don't you swap seats with that little girl? Back there in the play. Go on. Pick up your stuff and move on there. And you with the hearing aid. Why don't you have a seat back there? Just crank up that little thing of yours. And now, you sweetheart, why don't you have a seat up front here? Oh, Ma, you're a big girl. I'm sure you'll see just fine in the rear aisle. Go on. And now, you little girl, why don't you have a seat in the back with your friend? Now, isn't this much better? Yeah, you love her. Shut up. Colored girl, didn't I just tell you to hush up? I wasn't saying nothing. Well, now I distinctly heard you whispering. Stand up and tell the class what was so important that you had to interrupt me again. I already told you. I wasn't saying nothing. I know you did. And I want to hear what it was. We're all waiting. She already told you. I think she can speak for herself. All right. I'll tell you. I was saying, Elva Dean, what you got to write about? But in the sixth grade, your whole good-for-nothing life ain't got no daddy. Never goes anywhere but where your feet take you. Only this money ever belonged to you in the whole world was twenty dollars you got yourself in a birthday card from your uncle last year. But it really wasn't for my birthday. Really. It was for laying over his lap and letting him spank me with my underpants down. Now here you come along. Shoving me in the back of the room where eyes can't even see good, which means I'm probably not going to graduate this summer new. Just because you read how some white man say life be like a bowl full of chairs, I got to come up with something fit his saying. Well, fine. I just write down how happy I'm going to be to get 20 more dollars on my birthday. Never mind what he got planned for me this year. And I'm going to write how maybe the new man my mama said I stop drinking and treat me nice. And maybe he gonna adopt me and take us off the welfare. And at the end, I'm gonna be sure and put life show is a bowl full of chairs. But to tell you the truth, Miss Strap, I think you and that book and this whole class be a bowl full of shit. Go to the principal's office. Now. Didn't you hear a damn word she said? Excuse me. She told you the best truth she knows. And you don't got no right to put her out of call her a liar, neither. My mama says folks that treat people bad only do it because they're ignorant. So I'm gonna help you. 
She's gonna sit up front where she can see from now on. And she ain't gonna go by color girl no more, neither. You're gonna learn her name. I don't know about you, but all my friends have names. And this just so happens to be my best friend. Her name is Elvadine. <laughs>